Let us start with the first sum. A contractor on a construction job specifies a penalty of delay of completion beyond a certain date as follows. Rupees 200 for the first day, Rupees 250 for the second day, Rupees 300 for the third day, etc. The penalty for each succeeding day being Rupees 50 more than for the preceding day. How much money the contractor has to pay as a penalty if he has delayed the work by work by 30 days? First of all, children, let us understand the sum. Just, um, just assume that one of the contractor is there, yes, on construction and job specifies the penalty of delay of completion beyond the certain date as for well. that means he want to complete his work. Yes, but if it is delayed, then for one day he has to pay 200 rupees as a penalty. If it will delay by second day, then 250, third day 300, then so on. Yes, so just understand the sum first. So first day, if, if it is given for something for two months, if that contractor is contract is given for two months, if it will get delay for one day, that means he has to pay 200 rupees the next day. 250 so if you can see the what will be the sequence in this case so 200 for first day then second day for 250 then for third day it will be 300 and so on but what yes you can see over here if he has delayed for 30 days so we want to find how much penalty he has paid if he has already de delayed that work for 30 days so one day 200 second day 250 third day 300 and so on so for 30 days now always remember in these ap sums the questions will be of two types yes here they asked how much he has he has to pay the penalty for 30 days that means we want to find the sum of all 30 days are you getting this point? They have not asked you what will be the penalty for 30th day. If the sum will come as a 30th day, that means you want to find A30, the nth term. But we want to find here the penalty of 30 days. That means here 200, 250, 300 is nothing but your AP. And we want to find the S30 value. Is it clear to all of you what I mean to say here? Understand the sum. This is if you understand, you can find the given and all. Then the solution is very simple. Just substitution and finding the answer. Hope this concept is clear. Let us, we will start with the solution now. Now, as I told you, the penalty for first day, penalty for the first day, here the person will pay it for what? How many rupees? Rupees 200. Correct? So, then for the second day it is 250 the third day 300 so hence you will get the sequence or the series of ap is 200 250 300 here can you see over here here it is written as a series not directly as ap why because we have to show that this is an ap with it is not specified in the given question why this sequence is an ap we have to write it over here. The difference is same. Why? Because 250 minus 200 is 50. 300 minus 250 is 50. And it is specifically given in the question. The delay for each day will be rupees 50. That means the common difference is same. The difference between any two consecutive terms is same. Therefore, this is an AP. This is a very important step. Can you see over here? This step is very, very important. You have to show this is an AP. Then only you can apply the formula. Clear? So now, so common difference you got it as 50. Is it clear to all of you till here? So what is our sequence in this case? The sequence is nothing but 200, 250, 300. It, this is an AP. And now by using this AP, we will find our S30 value. Okay, now look at here the next part. We need to find the total penalty. Again, I will repeat the same thing. It is a total penalty. That means we want to find the penalty of first day plus second day plus third day plus fourth day so on 
till thirtieth day. Correct. So we want to find out here which value we want to find here as thirty. Now let us apply the formula. The formula is nothing but S n equal to n by two in the bracket two a in the bracket two uh, a plus in the bracket n minus one into d. Just ignore this part. Is it clear? This is just a printing mistake. Now by using this, write the given part. n equal to thirty because we want to find it for the thirty days. n equal to thirty. a equal to two hundred because we will start our stay series with the value two hundred. So two hundred and d is fifty. Now if you got this one and if you know the formula, that means you have done. Why? Because just now the substitution and calculation part is left, which you can very comfortable with that. You know all of you how to solve. Let us continue with that part. Now n by two, thirty by two, two a that is two into two hundred plus thirty minus one into fifty. Correct. So first solve the bracket. Thirty minus one is twenty nine. Similarly, two into two hundred is four hundred. So four hundred plus twenty nine into fifty. Always while solving such a sum, don't forget your word mass rule. Okay. So it will become as what now? Four hundred twenty nine into fifty is nothing but one four five zero. So one four five zero plus four hundred, it will be one thousand eight fifty. One thousand eight fifty into fifteen, you will get the final answer as twenty seven thousand seven fifty. So I think you can write the final answer. What will be your final answer? That means we have to pay that person or a contractor has to pay the total penal penalty of rupees. Twenty seven thousand seven fifty for thirty days because of his delay of the work. Is it clear? Yes. So this is nothing but your first sum. Actually, in this AP children, if you saw see the AP sums in AP, just the understanding is very important. Understand the sum always the word problems read twice thrice. I always suggest you that. Always the word problems read twice, thrice. Try to write first given part. Try to write what you want to find formula. If you can find these things easily, then rest thing is very simple for you. Are you getting this point? Okay. Okay. Let us start with our next sum. Next sum is also very very important as per the board exam. Yes, for board point of board exam, you can see this sum is as a very important and mark it as a important sum in your book also. Okay, so what is a sum? A spiral is made up of successive semicircles with the centers alternately at A and B, starting with the center at A of radius zero point five centimeter, one centimeter. One point five centimeter, two centimeter, as shown in the figure. What is the total length of such a spiral made up of thirteen consecutive semicircles? Yes, now this is a semicircles. They are given in the one to the one connected to each other, and we want to find the length of that semicircle. For that, you may, you have to see the first diagram. Let us see the diagram for this. This is nothing but a diagram for that. Now again, don't be panic. Don't think that this is a very difficult sum. The sum is very simple if you understand it. Okay. Now come back here with the center. First, let us start. We will start with the center. This is the center A. If you can see here as a center A, A B as a radius, and this is nothing but your semicircle. Can you see over here? Yes. We want to find the length of this semicircle. I want to find the length of this semicircle. Yes, what is the formula to what is the circumference of a circle? First of all, yes, the circumference of a circle is nothing but two pi r. Do you remember? Yes, so two pi r is nothing but the circumference of the whole circle. Then what will be the circumference of semicircle? It is half of that. So divide by two, so it will become as pi r. 
so if i want to find the length of this actually the circ circumference of semicircle is this semicircle plus diameter but here we don't want that diameter value we want only this curved part that is the length of this curved part so the length of this curved part is nothing but the circumference of a semicircle by using the formula pi r now what will be the r value over here r is nothing but 2.5 just i am talking about the innermost semicircle first can you see over here so here if i want to find the circumference of the innermost semicircle so you can see over here as the length of this semicircle will become by using the formula as pi into r where your r value is 0.5 correct so it will become as what 0.5 pi now go to the next semicircle the next semicircle is this correct again use the formula pi r pi into 1 now that is 1 pi for the next semicircle again apply the formula as pi r yes so pi r into now your radius is 1.5 so 1.5 into pi and so on that means what you will get the sequence over here can you see it is nothing but 0.5 pi then the second is 1 pi then third is 1.5 pi clear so and so on so this is nothing but your series and we have to show that this series is nothing but your ap and we will find the sum of all this yes so let us start with the solution as i explained you the same thing i have written over here the first is what the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r but here we want the semicircle so half into 2 pi r is equal to pi r is it clear yes so circumference of first semicircle is 0.5 into pi same as circumference of a second semicircle is 1 pi circumference of third semicircle is 1.5 pi and similarly till 13th semicircle is pi into 6.5 13th one 13 into 0.5 so 13 5 is 65 so it will become as 6.5 is it clear now let us start with the next part now here as the series is given pi 0.5 pi into 1.05 the same series here yes but here can you see it is written as pi into it is not necessary you can write 0.5 pi 1 pi 1.5 pi that way also you can write it okay now take the pi common if you take a pi common what will be your series will become 0.5 1 1.5 2 6.5 that that means you can see over here 1.5 into sorry 1.5 minus 0.5 the difference is of 0 0.5, 1.5 into 1, difference is of 0 0.5, 2 minus 1.5, difference is of 0 0.5 again. That means we can get the sequence here as an AP because the difference is constant. Okay, so we will find the sum of these terms. So what will be the sum? Here we will apply the second formula here because I know the last term value. So S equal to N by 2 A plus L. So N is 13. Then A is 0 0.5. L is 6.5. Correct. So let us substitute in the formula and find the answer. So X equal S equal to 13 by 2. Then A is 0.5 and the last term is 6.5. So, 13 by 2 into 7. Yes, it's 13 7s are 91. 91 by 2. So, the value is nothing but 45.5. So, 40.5. But what is the sum of the series? That is pi into s. So, 
pi is 22 by 7 it is specifically given in the question actually so 22 by 7 into 45.5 so divide by 7 to 45.5 you will get it as 6.5 and the answer is 143 centimeter hope this is clear to all of you solve once again as a practice then it will be easy for you